Hi y'all, it's Hennessy and I'm here with my best friend Selena. Hey. And today we're going to talk about Descendants, both the first one and the second one. So you want to say the plot line? Alright, so for Descendants 1, well basically, um, four kids of famous Disney villains, Mal, daughter of Maleficent, Evie, daughter of Evil Queen, Carlos, son of Carola Deville, and Jay, son of Jeff Art, are invited by the soon to be king of Oradon to uh basically attend the school and learn to be good and all that. And they their parents have a plot to steal the fairy godmother's wand, which is a very powerful artifact they can get them off the aisle. And so basically throughout the whole movie they um you know, they had a plan to steal it. It got messed up. They did. They um had another plan to steal it, which involved a love spell. And that one, well, Mal wound up realizing her feelings for the person who was spelled, who was ironically enough. The future king of Ordon, because that was actually a motive of why they love spelled him. Because in order to um, sit near the wand, um, whoever uh, was sitting with the royal family needed to be his girlfriend. And so, since Mal wasn't his girlfriend at the time, basically she needed to be in order to be near the wand. So that's why she did the whole love spell. But then she wound up realizing that she grew real feelings for him. And well, at the coronation, she decided she didn't want to be evil anymore. And then the others decided they didn't want to be evil anymore, so they turned good, fought the villains, and Maleficent got turned into a lizard, and that was basically <laughs> the first <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because of the, the lizard face. <laughs> she grew to the size of the love in her heart. <laughs> So, I would say one of my favorite songs is Evil Like Me and uh, Rotten to the Core, and If Only. Those songs are so good. So, Descendants 2. Descendants 2 had a really, like, the plot line was really, really eventful. So, basically, Mal's about to become Lady of the Core, and so she's under a lot of pressure. After a fight with Ben, she decides to run away to the aisle. And when she's on the aisle, after she had a makeover to turn back to her old self, she runs into one of the people who was in, um, one of Uma's, uh, who's the daughter of Ursula, one of her pirate gang members. And so... That was Henry, right? That was Harry. Harry. Yeah, Harry. Which is Captain Hook's son. Yeah, and so basically, and basically, um, after that, Evie, Ben, Carlos, and Jay went to go find her, and so Ben wound up getting kidnapped by Uma, and then, um, they apparently Mal had to go talk to Uma. Um, negotiate a trade because Uma wanted the wand and all that and they needed to give it to her by noon of the next day. So basically the four VKs devised a plan. Jay and Carlos would go and print the wand off a 3D printer, a think version, but while they were doing that, they um someone else decided to come along with them and help with the fight and Basically, after that, they had a huge sword fight on the ship, and everyone left, and, um, everyone, like, Mal, Ben, Carlos, Evie, Jay, Lonnie, and, well, and another stowaway, they basically left the aisle, and went back, and then on the night of the cotillion, Something happened and apparently we realized that Uma had spelled Ben so that she 
could probably bring down the barrier. And, well, basically that cell is broken. Mal and Uma had a fight, and Uma left out of the blue, and that's pretty much how it ended. What's your favorite song of that uh, movie? I don't have a favorite. Well, I have, well, I have a lot of them that I like, like, What's My Name? I love What's My Name and, um, what's it called? Space Between and, um, Wait To Be Wicked, is that what it's called? Yeah. And it's going down. I love, oh, I just love the whole Descendants soundtrack. Yeah, sorry, I yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I just love the whole Descendants soundtrack. So do you want to end it? Sure. In our signature way? Sure. Boom, Boom sorry. Way. We'll see you next time. time.